وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةٌ Behold, your Lord said to the angels, I will create a vicegerent on earth. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says that Hazrat Adam, peace be upon him, was born on earth. Now I will come on to the third lie of Dr. Zak and Mike. Let's look what he says about first man on earth. And Quran speaks again that also. Quran says the first man was Adam, peace be upon him. Inshallah they'll discover it hundred years afterwards or maybe a thousand years afterwards. Quran never says that Hazrat Adam, peace be upon him, was the first man on earth. Now I will show you the comparison between two Islamic scholars, Dr. Zak and Ike and Dr. Sar Ahmed, about first man on earth. Let's look what Dr. Zak and Ike says about first man on earth. And Quran speaks again that also. Quran says the first man was Adam, peace be upon him. Inshallah they'll discover it hundred years afterwards or maybe a thousand years afterwards. In this clip, Dr. Zakamax says that the first man on earth was Hazrat Adam, peace be upon him, but he didn't show any Quranic verse. What Dr. Slar Ahmed says about first man on earth. <laughs> اب اس سے اندازہ جو ہے یہ لگایا جا سکتا ہے کہ شاید پہلے ایک نو جو ہے نو آدم وہ پیدا ہوئی ہے یعنی پوری ایک خلقت ایک خلقت ایک نو ایک آدمی نہیں ایک سپیشیز ایک آدمی نہیں ان میں سے ایک آدمی چنا گیا ہے یہ ہے در حقیقت ہی ہے اس حائد Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 and if you count Bismillah's first verse it will be number 31 verse 31 and uh, in that when God says he's going to place a, or raise a, a Khalifa on earth and he's Adam the angels then said, "Qalu atajalu fiha man yufsidu fiha wa wa yus wa yasfiku dima." Are you going to put somebody on earth who's going to create disorder and is going to do a lot of bloodshed on earth? How did the angels know that? Because they don't—they're not supposed to know what happens in the future. They only know what Allah tells them. So that obviously they've seen that there were people on earth before who created disorder and who who uh, shed blood. 
So they said, are you going to make another one of them who are already there? But then Allah said, I know what you do not know. This one's not going to be like that. Dear viewers, you are seeing the different views of different scholars. Jahangir Saab proved life before Subhakarah verse 13. Dr. Slar Ahmed, he proved life before Adam. Surah Al-Araf verse 11. But Dr. Zakir Naik, he said that the first man on earth was as an Adam, he called him, but he did not show any Quranic verse. I will show you human evolution with the reference of who in the Quran. So Allah, verse 11, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defines human evolution. And we have certainly created you, O oh mankind, and given you human form. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that humans have different faces and different physiques and different time scales. Nowadays, scientists are discovering different fossils of different humans like Homo habilis 2 million years ago, Homo erectus 1.5 million years ago, Homo sapiens 0.5 million years ago, Abila Tazwar, Hazrat Mirza, Tar Ahmed, Rahmatu Alayhi beautifully defined human evolution. तो नफ्स से वादा कैसे पैदा होता है तो मां के पेट में देखो तुम्हें हमने कैसी कैसी शक्लें दी और जो साइंस दान जिंदगी के इल्म से ताल्लुक रखते हैं और खुसूस ने इंतकार से वो सब जानते हैं कि मां के पेट में बच्चा वो तम कमो बेश उन तमाम مراحل سے گزرتا ہے جن مراحل سے زندگی گزری ہے اور انگینت سال پہلے جب زندگی کا آغاز ہوا تھا تو ماں کے پیٹ میں جب جنین پہلی شکل اختیار کرتا ہے تو اس پہلی ادنا خام حالت کی زندگی سے مشابہ دکھائی دیتا ہے پھر وہ تیزی کے ساتھ زندگی کی دوسرے مراحل تاہ کرتا ہے یہاں تک ایک موقع پر آکے اس کی دن بھی نکلاتی ہے اور اس وقت اس کو دیکھیں آپ تمہیں رہے گا جیسے بندر ہو اور پھر تیزی سے وہ جس طرح فلم دوہائی جا رہی ہو بہت تیزی کے ساتھ وہ عرب سال کا زمانہ نو مہینے کے اندر تصویری زبان میں مکمل ہو جاتا ہے یہاں تک کہ اچانک انسان اس طرح پیدا ہوتا ہے کہ سمیہ ان بصیرہ وہ دیکھنے والا بھی ہو جاتا ہے اور سمجھنے والا بھی اور سننے والا بھی ناو آئی مولی فائی with a reference of the Holy Quran, that time after time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates the wisdom of human. The history shows us that humans have changed themselves with wisdom. Same thing they find in Surah Al-Din verse 4. لَقَدْ خَلَقُنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمٍ Surely we created man of the best stature. The atheist scientist, especially Richard Dawkins, who always attacks on Islam. Let's look what he says about religion and evolution. Look, you don't have to be an atheist to believe in evolution. Now, if your aim is to propagandize in favor of evolution, that obviously is the best seduction technique. But if your aim is to kill religion, as mine is, <laughs> then, then, uh, then, then just, just let me finish. If your, if your aim is to kill religion, then since evolution is manifestly true... In this clip, Richard Dawkins says to kill the religion to understand evolution. But we Ahmadi Muslims believe in God and we believe on science-based evolution. But how Richard Dawkins says to kill the religion to understand evolution? Actually, evolution is a big proof of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where Richard Dawkins spent his whole, whole, whole life in research for 
evolution. He knows very well human history. Now I will raise a very important point in front of AC scientists. In the beginning, human used to live like animals, which things civilized the human. The human got manners of life. The answer of this question is religion, because each religion teaches a manner of life. The example of human is in front of us. This human is before the religion. This human is after the religion. This clearly proves that human civilized with religion. The last point I would like to raise in front of Asia scientists are all the planet and stars are moving in their orbit according to mathematical and physics rules. But these mathematical and physics rules highly demand a creator and the creator is one only that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mil ke